When designing a roof for your model, if you take some strategic steps when creating the roof, it can help you design any roof quickly. In this tooltip, we'll create a skillion roof, or what you may refer to as a double shed roof, to illustrate different techniques to build a custom roof. The first step I always take when creating any roof is to determine if the shape of the roof matches the shape of the exterior walls. This will help me decide if I use the roof by perimeter tool or the roof by picking points tool. Either way, the resultant roof will work and function the same way, but the roof by perimeter tool automates the process. The roof for our example matches the shape of the house, so we will use the automated roof by perimeter tool. Once I select the materials I want to use for the roof, I simply left click inside the model once and the roof is formed. My next step when creating a roof is always to place any gable ends. Any side of the roof where I would not hang a gutter, or what you may refer to as an eaves trough, should be set to a gable. This is true for any sides that I want to rake, or that would be directly up against the house itself. In our example model, I'll be selecting each of the sides in the illustration where I wouldn't hang a gutter, which would be these six sides I am selecting. With those sides selected, I right-click and select Properties. In the Roof dialog, I select the Roof Shape button. Immediately, different roof types are illustrated. I will select the gable and then simply click OK. Once the gables are placed, you can then manipulate all other sides, either changing plate heights or pitches. As you can see in a 3D view, it has formed the Skillion roof style. But I want to do some further refinements. The roof was created so the end of each section is contiguous. I want to move the surface edge of the left roof surface over so it rests against the finished edge of the wall, which would tuck under the roof surface on the right. To do this, I will break the roof into individual surfaces so I can modify them separately. Left click to select the roof and then right click to reveal the modification tools. Select Convert Roof to Surfaces. Select a surface material for the roof selections and click OK. The roof is now made up of individual surface pieces that you can manipulate. Very handy if you're creating custom roofs. I'm going to select the surface that I want to lengthen. When you select the surface, notice the nodes at each end that publish their current height from grade. Also notice the arrow that points in the direction of the surface slope. You can move each corner of the roof by moving the corner nodes or an entire edge by selecting the dark blue node on the midpoint of each surface edge. When you select the node, keep your left mouse button held down until you have moved that node to the desired location. In my case, right up against the wall. When a roof has been converted to surfaces, you can still adjust the pitch and plate height of the surface. With this roof surface still selected, I will right click and select Surface Commands, Define Surface. In this dialog box, I have three variables I can change, the lower plate height, the upper ridge height, and or the slope. I'll keep the lower point locked so it retains that value, and I'll then manipulate the slope. With it adjusted, you can see the upper point adjust accordingly. Click OK, and the roof updates. Flexible tools so you can build a roof quickly. I hope that makes your design work one step easier.